Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews. This is a review of the Batman line of action figures made by the same people who make uh, DC Universe Classics and also DC Universe All-Stars. Well, they have a Batman line and this is the Legacy Edition Batman First Appearance action figure. I mean, the packaging is awesome. Check this out. They have a... On the side of the art is the cover to his first appearance, Batman. Uh, look at that. Looks really nice. And it's going to have a little mini poster of the first Batman cover. You can see it right there on the side. At the back of the package, uh, reprinting uh, the cover right there. First appearance Batman. He is part of the Batman solo carded line by Mattel. Uh, Batman has his own series of action figures and it is compatible and fits in with DC Universe Classics. It's basically the same thing under a different uh, label name. And such a great interpretation of Batman's first appearance. A definite winner of a figure and it is just great. Uh, I want to talk about this figure, how cool it is. But before I mention it, this is what it has. It has a base that says Batman and the Bat logo on it. Really nice. And he has one peg here that he can stand on. And it, what I really think is great is, look at this. It has a little poster of the very first issue of Batman right here. Detective Comics number 27. The cover of that issue of Batman. Uh, you get it as a little poster and I like to mention it's rolled up. Why it's rolled up is there is no creases in the middle. If they folded the poster there would have been creases and it would not have looked good but they did the right thing and they gave it to you rolled up. I mean that's just awesome to get that. And the figure itself outstanding. Uh, just look at that face that's how Batman first looked. Here it has a dark blue, but black in the, for the cape. That's how Batman first looked. And in case you're wondering, yes, the gloves are purple. But this is the first appearance Batman, and he did have purple gloves early on. And the belt buckle is a circle, which is probably the only time he had a circle belt buckle. Because in the next appearance it was square. Uh, the bat symbol is a little different. There's no uh, ear tops on the bat symbol. I mean, just a great figure. Uh, really paid attention to detail on the early Batman art. And this figure does show. Uh, I'm really happy that uh, this figure was made. Uh, and I'm impressed with the final product. Uh, articulation. You can go side to side. Uh, up and down is a little bit hindered. Uh, they had to use a collar piece here. And the way it's sculpted on the shoulders. You don't get much articulation on the shoulders, unfortunately. It's side to side, it goes up and down. And you do got the upper bicep articulation. But as I said, it is hindered by the cape style. You do get one point of articulation at the elbow. At the wrist, you can spin it. Uh, the left hand is a fist, but the right hand is open. Even though he doesn't have a weapon, why I think it's good to have an open hand is maybe you could get like a, a string and he can be swinging on that string like uh, like in the first appearance. That's why it's good to have that open hand. He does have an ab crunch. Can go in and out and side to side. But the cape does get in the way a bit. The hips, standard is side to side, up and down. And the upper thigh cuts here. He does have one point of articulation at the knees. And the boots here, it's just uh, painted on, it's not sculpted on. You can go up and down at the feet, but no side to side. Just uh, up and down. If uh, you want to move the lower boots, you just use the thigh area for that. I mean, overall, this is the look of Batman's very first appearance in that early costume he had. I think it's a winner. I think the interpretation of how they made this figure, they really did a great job 
uh, bringing out attention to detail of Batman's early look. It's not too articulated because the cape, the way it's positioned, does get in the way. If you want to just have him posing on a base, but you really don't even need a base to have him pose because he poses and stands well. Or maybe you could get a string and he's swinging uh, on the string. Yeah, this is Batman's early look and uh, they did a great job interpreting the art. Uh, it's really cool that it has a poster even. Uh, I would say it is one of the best Batman figures I've seen in a long while. Uh, for any Batman fan or serious Batman fan, I think it's a must get. Uh, just really great. And, uh, and that's my review on it. Thanks for watching and talk to you later. Yes, this is Batman in his first appearance costume. This is how I looked. Check it out. Purple gloves and all. Batman's first appearance, but far from his last appearance.